Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the plaster molding process. This is one of the casting process which differs from the green sand molding and dry sand molding because here we are not using any type of sand. Yes, here we use plaster of Paris or gypsum. Together we are added some additives like talc, fibers, asbestos, silica floor in order to control the contraction. Because if the plaster of Paris is um, made uh, without any additives, it, it tends to contract after the hardening. So these are necessary. The plaster of Paris used is in the form of a slurry that is uh, some clay like form some with some water content so the basic process is this slurry is applied over the mold so that after it it's curing it uh, the mold is ready the process is explained here this plaster slurry is poured over a metallic pattern confined in a flask then the pattern is usually a brass and is generally a half portion because we want to make a two piece pattern that is uh, a cope and drag like that so that a uh, match plate which forms the bottom of the molding flask and it's firmly attached on a match plate then wood is not preferred because uh, uh, the uh, pulling of pattern from the plaster practice is difficult and some parting or releasing agent is usually applied to easily remove the pattern. The plaster material is allowed to set and finally the plaster is set properly. Uh, the pattern is withdrawn from the plaster of Paris. Then as the flask is filled with slurry, it is vibrated at first because for the even spreading and to uh, remove the air bubbles. Then the plaster mold thus produced is dried and it is to be baked at oven over uh, 200 to 270 degrees celsius and cooled. After that the two halves are made it is uh, matched using some pins and after that the necessary sprue runner are cut before joining the two pa parts. This diagram shows a clear explanation of what the process is first of all in a container plaster slurry that is the gypsum plus water is put together and stirred using a stirrer then uh, the plaster slurry is poured over the pattern and uh, and after that it is baked crop and drag uh, are prepared runner riser are cut down it is baked and uh, after it is cooled it is ready for a pouring of molten metal here after baking the molten metal is poured into the cavity and after that it cools down and finally casted product is taken out the advantage is very good surface finish can be established and no machining cost is involved because it has good uh, dimensional accuracy and slow and uniform rate of cooling of the casting is achieved because of low thermal conductivity of plaster and metal shrinkage with accurate control is feasible is possible and thereby warping and distortion of thin sections can be avoided so there is also a disadvantage that is steam when we are pouring the molten metal the hot molten metal um, when poured into the plaster of Paris, the water containing the plaster of Paris is evaporated. This evaporation decreases the strength of the plaster of Paris and the permeability is also a poor, that is minimal amount of force is present so that steam will not be able to get out of the mold cavity so that uh, the dimensional property uh, is affected and the bubbles is also present the bubbles causes the weakness in the casted product so these are all the 
disadvantages of plaster molding so this is a short video friends if you like this video please hit a thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching